Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. And I had just come out to do, I was going to start doing a little bit of water in the hanging tomatoes and bell peppers. I uh, really need a drink. But I'm hearing thunder in the distance and I know there's a big storm right back there. So I'm going to wait a few minutes. It would be nice if we had a nice little downpour here for about 15 minutes and it would save me from having to do it. Not big on energy today. I'm just not feeling great. But it's lunchtime right now, so when the guys get back, we're going to start stretching out the strip line. I've got to make the decision about whether or not to make a manifold with individual lines running or simply to run one line and just curve it at the ends. So what I mean is just running one line down and then running it back and running it down and just capping it at the end. I've only got four of the couplings so I can only hook up four well, I guess you could call it main lines and so either I'll have to do it four long lines or four lines four main lines with uh, uh, more lines branched off of those Yeah, lots of thunder, but nothing yet. As you can see these tomatoes and bell peppers need a drink. I had these little cherry tomatoes here. I was really liking how they were doing and was going to come out and harvest a bunch of them and have a honest to God a real salad and uh, Marcel used them the ones that were ripe three or four days ago for some kind of a soup that she made but there's more getting ready of all the tomatoes that have been planted and there were many planted at the same time these in the hanging pots are the only ones that are producing anything so uh, that says something right there. A few more down here. Oh, I just felt a couple sprinkles. So anyway, um, I've got to do a few little tests on... I can't see, but I've got to go take my magnifying glass down and really look over the emitters because I can't see anymore to read that fine... Uh, that fine print. We have to do some cleaning in here because the lines have to run flat on the ground. And they, all this brush and stuff has to be cleaned out. And you know, since I've got four lines, it's four half inch lines coming off a one inch main line. Uh, the line coming off the pump is a one inch. And I don't know, uh, I don't have a pressure regulator. And uh, this is all going to be a grand experiment on getting enough flow out of each emitter. Because this is, this right here is at an angle from where I'm standing right here to where the bottom line is going to be down there next to the pond is about a 10 foot well, maybe an 8 foot elevation change. And then from here back up there, it's another couple feet. This is all a, a significant slope 
going from left to right and uh, water doesn't like to travel uphill you have to force it and so I'm going to be adjusting the emitters I know it's going to be it's not going to be that easy to get an even flow out of every line but it just, it's going to take what it's going to take and we'll begin to get those laid out I'm going to have to get it's actually raining so I'm going to have to get back up here out of the rain but I'm really anxious and uh, you know I'm, I'm really jazzed about uh, getting that pond water up into not only this little garden area right here but also on the fruit trees uh, mainly the ones down here the soil is so bad and there's so many roots in that area right there and it's so shaded that nothing has ever grown well there so that last 20 feet there is like a square uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to plant more trees in there or not because none of the ones we planted thrived or did any good because there, there's there's four coconut trees really close together right there and coconut tree roots go out I don't know 20 feet in every direction it seems like and so everything in there is just inundated with roots uh, it's too much competition for the lemon cedo we planted up in there even the you know we planted squash up in there I forget all what we planted nothing ever did any good mainly because there's too much shade and I'm not going to cut down the mango tree and I'm not going to cut down the coconut trees so that leaves the gemolina and I don't know I'm just not a big fan of cutting down trees in general so I'm thinking we'll just uh, do something in, on, on a, in a landscaping vein in that area up there rather than, than trying to grow something but this area down here everything does a lot better so I'm anxious to get that uh, fish pond water up here on this stuff and start fertilizing it and hopefully getting it to thrive same thing with the bell peppers is on these tomatoes Marcel came in and picked two or three of the biggest bell peppers but we've still got some good ones going there. I just want to see how big I can get them before they, or how big they get before they start to turn. Um, those two right there aren't, aren't uh, what you'd call colossal, but they're as big as anything I've seen in the stores for sale here. Almost as big as what I've seen for sale in the stores. And those are, are pretty pathetic examples of bell peppers. I'd like to get them up to at least uh, baseball sized, you know, a hard ball, not a softball. That would be asking way too much, but I'd like to get them up to hard ball size. Uh, I would be really pleased with that. Yep, it's just raining too much to be standing around out here. So depending on how long this lasts, if this lasts 15 or 20 minutes, then I won't have to water. If this is just a, if this is just enough to mess up the, the dust on your car, then I'll have to go out and water. But we shall see. And a good bit of it depends on how hard it rains too. If it would rain like it's raining right now for about 30 minutes, I'd be good. Well, that rain was uh, just getting my hopes up for nothing because it was basically a hard sprinkle for five minutes. So I'm out here watering this stuff. 
Now who knows if it's going to rain more later today or not, but this, uh, these plants are in dire need of a drink. Love? Yes, love. Do I hear Tatai going somewhere? All right, because I need to use that van later. I need to go get hollow blocks for the breeder tank. Well, we can take the white van to go into town, but later I need the red van. What are you, are we waiting on Gina then? Oh. Well, I didn't see her. I thought she went home. Alright, well, I'm going to finish watering these up because who knows if it's going to rain anymore or not. Yeah, well, if it does, great. If it doesn't, then these plants won't die because they've got a drink. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.